The readings of today might be summarized in two words, one of which is pride and the other is humility. Jesus tells a parable to bring out these two qualities. He speaks about one character who is praying to God. And even as that person prays, he goes and stands right at the entrance of the temple and he prays in a loud voice. This voice is a voice which everyone around can hear. And in that prayer, he hardly speaks to God at all. He speaks about himself. And what does he say about himself? He says that he is a righteous man. He says that he is a generous man. He says that he obeys the law. He says that he follows all the commandments. He has not said anything about God. He has not said anything to God. He has spoken for the benefit of those listening to him. He has spoken for his own benefit. And there is another character. A character who stands far away. A character who will not even raise his eyes because he considers himself unworthy and a sinner. And this man focuses on God even though he does not look at God and pray silently in the depths of his heart. And his prayer is first that he acknowledges that he is a sinner. He acknowledges that he is unworthy. He acknowledges that he is not worthy to stand before this magnanimous God. He also, however, acknowledges that because God is love, that because God is mercy, that because God is forgiveness, he can dare to stand, even though as a mark of respect for God, he will not lift his eyes to God. And Jesus concludes this parable by saying that the first person was proud and so went home unchanged and God never heard his prayer. The second person was humble and God heard his prayer and he went home justified. Pride is so easy to have. And especially if one is talented, especially if one is rich, especially if one has the means to do a number of things. Pride means that I look at myself more than I look even at God. Pride means that I make myself God, I make my talents God, I make things God. I make idols of things and I worship those things. I make an idol of myself and I worship myself and God is forgotten. Humility, on the other hand, means that I acknowledge my beautiful talents which God has given me. I acknowledge all the wealth which God has given me, but I realize that whatever has been given to me has been given to me not only for my selfish use but has been given to me in trust so that I can also use it for others. Humility means that I believe that I am nothing in the eyes of God. That I am no one in the eyes of God. In Gethsemane, just before he can be arrested, Jesus goes to pray. And in his prayer, through that one action of throwing himself on the ground, Jesus shows us three things. And therefore, this is what we must take in our prayer, like the second man in his humility took in his prayer. The first thing which Jesus showed, even though he did not say it, but in his action of prostrating himself was first, that God is almighty, that God is all-powerful, that God is capable of doing everything. The second, that Jesus before God was nothing. That Jesus did not even have the courage to lift his eyes up to God because he realized in front of his father he was nothing. And the third, 
that Jesus surrendered himself completely to the will of his father and was saying, Father, I am disponible, I am available, I am at your service. Do with me whatever you want. The second character in the parable of today did exactly that. He realized, first of all, the almightiness of God. He realized that God was omnipotent and omniscient and that nothing was beyond the scope of God. He realized in the same breath that he was nothing and no one because God was everything. And he put himself into the loving hands of God in total surrender. That man went home justified. The pride man went home having learned and got nothing. When you pray, is your prayer only about yourself or is your prayer about God? When you pray, do you acknowledge that God is almighty and that nothing is beyond his scope, that there is nothing that God cannot accomplish? Will you realize in the same breath that you are nothing in front of God and that whatever God does in your life and whatever he will do in your life is better for you than what you would want for yourself. I pray that you might be humble in prayer, humble in life, humble before God and before others.